I hadn't joined the Lions Club yet, and uh, uh, after the first couple of years, I was still working, and uh, so I decided uh, the Lions Club loaned us five hundred dollars to begin with, and we paid that back after the first car show and banked about five thousand dollars. Of that five hundred, what what did you use that five hundred dollars for? Well, we went out and got some stuff that we could auction off or raffle off, and uh, uh, just went from there. And they both, both of them quit, and so I just continued to do it uh, with threats to quit myself. And I made 20 years and uh, met a lot of great people, and uh, it's been very successful for the community. Uh, we went from $5,000 the second year, I think we made nine, and then it just continued to go up. Uh, and the money all stays in the community, so... Uh, I'm proud of what we've done. You know, you, you mentioned raffles. Um, it was about four years ago, five years ago, this same gentleman said, hey, um, we need a new announcer for the car show. And uh, I have found that this person's a very difficult person to say no to because he does so much. That if, you how think, if you think I'm tough to say no to, you ought to see my wife. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. Like I said, for Behind every good guy, there's a better, better woman. woman. Yeah. But when you mentioned raffles, what what kind of things did you uh, purchase in those early days of raffling? <laughs> uh, I went to uh, to uh, different places. Everybody, uh, all all kinds of stuff. You know, and uh, I, one of my favorite places is Harbor Freight because you get some pretty nice things and at not very much money, you know, make, make, make nice gifts. Uh, uh, but I, and when I first started, I didn't like to ask anybody for money, but I knew that if I didn't, there wouldn't be any car show. So uh, I don't care who the person is, I'll ask them for money now. So, uh, and the, I went to the, this year, and I don't know why I didn't think of it a long time ago, I went to both casinos and I thought, uh, the one at Lucky Eagle and uh, the one, uh, yeah. And anyway, I thought, well, I probably won't get nothing. So I met, I called ahead and I met the uh, people and would had the power and uh, they sat down with me and and they said, well, I showed them the book. Uh, the book has always been very good. Uh, even before I started the car show, Toledo had a nice, nice pamphlet and book. And uh, I ended up walking out of there with $500 out of both of them. Uh, each one of them gave me $500. And one of them shipped me, it's in the goodie bags, uh, a deal for $10 uh, when you go down to gamble. It's free gambling. So, uh, uh, but it, it, I went to Braun this year and they gave me uh, $500. And uh, uh just doesn't bother me to go and get money now so uh, look out you guys because I might come around well you've been in car shows for 17 20 years uh, what in your eyes makes an outstanding car show well in my eyes I went to car shows before this one I've, I'm a car freak and uh, I went to a lot of car shows and seen the right way to do it and the wrong way and uh, what we do, I think, is the right way, and it, it's been very successful. Uh, it went from 65 cars the first year, last, well, not last year, but in 19, we had 346. Uh, this year, I anticipate maybe even more, uh, because everybody wants to get out and do something, so hopefully it is more, so. But it's, like I said, I've met a lot of nice people, uh, Going around, these people aren't just somebody I take the money for. Off. They're friends, and, uh, and that's the way I treat them as friends. But uh, it's interesting. And, I, and one on. other thing is, I've had a lot of good help. So that's what makes it so, so successful. If I can, I need to add two things to support what he said. Um, there's a guy up in the Napa store in Chehalis. And I've known him through other avenues of Boy Scouts of America. And he speaks highly of you. 
and our cheese day committee and our car show. You have built relationships with these sponsors that have been with this committee and you for years and years and years. And Dave Wilson is one of those. He's just one of many that you go to and, and you have built friendship relationships when you walk through their door. Well, I want his friends, not enemies. So uh, <laughs> I've got a few of those too, but uh, I think the friends out can number the enemies. So, but it's been a fun ride and, uh, but all rides come to an end and uh, this is it for me. So, so well, hopefully we'll get some people that will step up and do it. I just can't do her no more. It's, uh, but it has been fun and, uh, Saturday it will be it. I hope for a big crowd. There will be a big crowd. And there's one thing I need to, that I have learned over the last four years in the um, announcer's tent is people come back time and time again, year after year, to our car show. And people on the committee and myself have asked, why, do, why Toledo? Why are you coming back? And it's amazing, our little community out there in that little, little field, mm -hmm. people say, it is a great car show. It ranks in the top five of the Pacific Northwest. And I said, how and why? One, it's on a grass field, and they're not on asphalt, they're not on concrete, and so the temperature's lower. They love being in the grass field. And number two is you and your staff. Uh, Brad Dykstra's here. The biggest thing they really love about our car show is all those donations, all those prizes, all those raffles, the numbers on the board, and they just keep plucking those tickets into those jars, in those cans, and winner, winner, turkey dinner, they are so excited to get a case of oil or a car detailing bucket. It's those things, and then they love the car show because it's within a festival. And being a new classic car owner now myself, it is great because with this festival, the car owners love to have their cars viewed besides just car owners. And we have this whole festival. And that goes hand in hand with those 350 cars in that lot keeps this festival going all day long with the community members. It's not like across the freeway when once the parade's over, it's over. So what you've done here with this car show is amazing. I thank you for the history that you've given. Any closing thoughts besides, yeah, we say goodbye, but we'll see you soon, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, we got a lot of young people, like the, like the Dykes, I call them kids, but they're grown-ups, and uh, they're great. Uh, they they hustle and they do things right, and uh, and a lot of the other people that help have helped me over the years. Uh, that's what makes it work. You gotta have help. And I want to thank everybody for coming tonight too. <laughs> <laughs>